Hi folks, Doc here. As you know, I completed the Dock Locker 2.0 in the MST-206 transaxle. And uh, I have finally, finally had the time a week later to actually get the thing installed in the old. So here it is, mules back on all fours. And uh, we'll just kind of slide the camera down. Give you a peek underneath at all that yellowness. Wow. Yep, that's pretty yellow. Kind of hard to see this thing for all the stuff under there, but yeah, there it is. As you can see, I still have to hook up my vent line. Um, I've got the tractor at home here, and I need to bring it up to Area 51 today. So now that it's capable of moving under its own steam again, that's what we're going to do. Kind of hard to tell on film, but this backyard is sort of interesting to get in and out of. There's uh, quite a hill here. And there's a bunch of scrub and crap in the way, and then there's a big uphill with some bumps and stuff and that's what I got to do to get her out of the backyard. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to fire it up and get it out of here. Don't you just hate tailgaters? Yep, bastard. Uh, it's a beautiful day for a drive though. Beautiful day to get a tractor back alive as well. Wheel was out of commission for a week. Took the transaxle out and sat there while I was busy doing everything else and now well, it's good to have her back.
Mule has made it home to Area 51. Welcome home. Been a while. That being said, um, I can go about my day, and the rest of my day is going to consist of a short little road trip to pick up a tractor, hopefully. All right, got my coffee. As you all know, there are machines that we consider desirable, machines that we crave, machines that we look for, machines that are iconic, tractors that, you know, when you see one, you go, I have to have that, or so-and-so's got that, you know, Redneck Computer Geek's got one of those, or Fearless Front's got one of those, I want one of those. There's those tractors that we look for, and Mule here is not one of those tractors. Mule here was just a nondescript 1989 Lawn Boy LT12, sister model to the Ford. And it was one of those cases where I had it, so that's what I decided to work with. And I'm kind of keeping the Mule project going and continuing as an example of, no, you don't have to have the same damn tractor everybody else has. That being said, I'm still on the lookout for certain machines. Um, I wouldn't mind a wide body Murray, just so that I can show you guys, okay, here's what Doc is going to do with a wide body Murray. We've seen what he does with it, we've seen what he does with it, this is what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'm after a vintage Sears. Um, I'm after a vintage Cub Cadet, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm after a few things too, as everybody else is. So I didn't intend to actually buy a tractor, I wasn't looking for a tractor, I'm poor as dirt right now. But every now and then I'll surf Kijiji and Craigslist just to see what's out there, because you never know. And I happened upon a 1975 Sears ST16 for a really good price. Um, you guys have seen them, they're, they're pretty much classic. And the only difference between the ST16 and the SS16 is basically the engine. There's a couple of other little details too. Uh, there's the thing about where the floorboard meets the fender or doesn't meet the fender. Uh, but the SS series has that big Onan twin. Uh, and the ST has a Tecumseh 16 horse single. Anyways, came across that for a really good price, although I didn't have the money. So I contacted the guy, offered up a trade, and he said, yeah, let's do it, but there's a guy in line to hit me. So I loaded up the trailer, and uh, I shot up to Barry, which was about a 45 minute drive. And I looked at it, and you know, for the state it was in, for the price it was, it was definitely something I could work with. And sure as shite, two minutes later, the guy that was in line ahead of me showed up and bought the tractor. So I walked away dejectedly. Got back on the internet, and I found a... Gotta think about this now. It's a 1974 SS12. And again... You know, it looked like something I could work with. The price was kind of outrageous. The list price in the ad was 600 bucks. Uh, and it wasn't even running. The carburetor was in a drawer. And, you know, there's just no way I'd cough up 600 bucks for that. Um, it's not the iconic one. It's not what I really want. And what I'd really like to lay hands on is, uh, is about a 75 or 76-ish SS-16. You know, top of the heap. Really cool. Anyway, so I got this lead on this... Uh, I got this lead on this SS12 and uh, offered up some trades and the guy accepted. So it's not exactly what I wanted, but it's something I can work with. So let's see what I can do with it. And uh, in about an hour or so, I'm going to take off and hopefully complete the trade and go get it. Cheers. Oh, look at that. I picked up another tailgater. All right, off we go, tractor in tow. I pulled over for a bite to eat because I was starving and I figured I'd shoot this here and now, today's acquisition, uh, simply because of the fact that by the time I get done doing absolutely everything I gotta do and all my pit stops and stuff, probably gonna be dark. So this is what I think, I gotta run the numbers, a 1972 Suburban 12. It's more or less intact, it doesn't run right now, the carburetor's off it, needed some carb work, and I guess somebody ultimately ended up throwing their hands in the air. It's got a really bad red paint job over the original blue and white, so we're gonna have to fix that. Yeah, and uh, a rod end let go in the steering, so right now it steers like this. Yeah, not so good. So, anyways, uh, 
what the guy had wanted for it was just far and away too much for what it is. What I traded for it, I had about $30 into. So <clears throat> this effectively cost me 30 bucks. So it's got the 12 horse HH120 Tecumseh in there. Oldie beastie there with the starter generator. And uh, I guess we're gonna see what happens and try and figure out what I'm gonna do with this damn thing. So I guess basically, this is to be continued. So until next time, take care of yourself. Thanks for tuning in, subscribing, and watching.